Okay, in this video we'll show you how to repair a Hans G HN199D that is having power up problems. Um, first thing you need to do, of course, is remove the power cable and the signal cables. Uh, the next thing we'll need to do is remove the stand. Uh, to do that, the hinge is covered by a piece of plastic. If you squeeze in both ends, that piece of plastic will pop off. and reveal four screws. Have those four screws and then the stand will lift right off. We'll just set that stand and screws to the side to come back to later when we're putting reassembling it. Next thing on each of the corners, there's a Phillips screw. I need to remove those four. Now we can turn the unit over and remove the front bezel. To do that, if you grab in the center and kind of lift up a little bit, it'll start separating. Just kind of work your way around on the sides and across the top. And then the cover will come right off. You can set that to the side. We'll come back to that very shortly. Okay, now we have the panel and the front control panel here, the LCD panel I guess in the front control panel, you can lift the LCD panel out of the case and then set it down to get to the power supply that we're going to be doing we need to remove this RF shield uh, it's held in place with a couple of screws on the ends and then there is also and rotate it around here so you can see the backlight plugs this is where the backlight lights plug to the power supply you need to remove those so just unplug out of the little socket and on the other end you have the front control panel and speaker plugs and those can be unplugged too once you do that you can remove the back cover from the electronics assembly now we'll remove those four screws. And then you can lift up the electronics assembly. Let's rotate it around here. Um, also need to remove the four screws that are holding this bar. I'll lift that up and then we can get to the electronics. Rotate it to the side. This is the power supply board that we will be working with. So we need to remove it. There's four screws that hold it in place. And then, of course, we need to remove the cable that links it to the um, controller board. Then you can remove the controller board, and then we have the cable that just unplugs. And this is the power supply board, and we'll take it over to the soldering station and replace the capacitors on it and see if we can bring the unit back to life. 